So I'm on this 2012 Toyota Corolla, and I thought I'd go over the location of every engine sensor. And this is a 2012 Toyota Corolla 1.8 liter engine. Dual overhead cam, variable valve timing. But this is gonna be very similar for many Toyotas. So the first sensor we're gonna start with is the MAF sensor or mass airflow sensor. This is located right here on this air intake box. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off here. So the next sensor is gonna be the camshaft position sensors. Camshaft position sensor A is gonna be located right here on the intake side. And camshaft position sensor B is gonna be located right back here on the exhaust side. Hopefully you can see down and in there, it's right there. Well, there's also two variable valve timing solenoids. You got one right here and one right here. This is gonna be the intake variable valve timing solenoid and this is gonna be the exhaust. The next sensor is gonna be the throttle position sensor and it's gonna be located on the throttle body, which is this right here. And it's gonna be located right here. And the engine coolant temperature sensor is gonna be located right down the side of here. Hopefully you can see this wire. This is going to the engine coolant temperature sensor. You can see down in there. Next up is gonna be the oxygen sensors, and these are gonna be located down on the exhaust. You're gonna have two of them. You're gonna have sensor one, which is also called the upstream O2 sensor, and that's located right down in here before the catalytic converter. And then I'm gonna go up underneath the vehicle, and up underneath the vehicle, this is gonna be oxygen sensor number two, located after the catalytic converter, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. So oxygen sensor number one is gonna be up there, and then oxygen sensor number two is gonna be right here. And so next up is gonna be the crankshaft position sensor and the oil pressure sensor, which is gonna be located right next to each other. Let me show you here at the top of the engine where they're located, but I'm also gonna go up underneath. Here's the oil cap right here, and if you look right down there, they're gonna be located right down in here. I got the front passenger side tire off, and if you come right up on inside of here, you're gonna be able to see them. This right here is gonna be the crankshaft position sensor up behind this wire right here. And right here off to the right, is gonna be the oil pressure sensor, also called the oil pressure switch, and it's gonna be located right there. There's also an ambient air temperature sensor, which is gonna be located right up underneath the bumper right here in the front. If you come up underneath the front bumper, there's gonna be a sensor right here. This is called the ambient air temperature sensor, just right here. Next up is gonna be the fuel level sensor, which is gonna be located with the fuel pump inside the gas tank. This is under the rear seat here. You pull up on the rear seat and remove it. There's gonna be this cover right here. You take this off, the fuel pump's gonna be up underneath there. And that fuel level sensor is gonna be located with it. And so that's basically it. I think I got all the engine sensors. If I miss one, let me know down in the comments below and I'll come back and point it out. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.